sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Welcome again to Gigi's Kitchen. I'm here with my sister Mary to Hi. teach us some more yummy, yummy, yummy things to eat today. And let's get started. Have you ever gone to a party, a barbecue, a neighborhood, birthday, a gig, and they asked you to bring a side dish? Well, that happens a lot. So, have you ever gone to the party and you thought, oh boy, I never know how many of you are going to be in a party like this, so I'm going to make a big pan. And party's over, and they're giving everybody's food back to them, and you go home with almost full pot of hash brown potatoes. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can eliminate that and look forward to going to parties with just the right amount of food. Thanks for coming back because I love to solve problems and you obviously had the problem of having too much food in your fridge. We want to help you with that. And I'm going to do it by showing you how to make easy, cheesy, hash brown, not sleazy, that <laughs> <laughs> Easy breezy. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's stop with that. So, I'm going to put this together in my imagination. You get hash brown potatoes. Put them in a large pan, but don't be scared that it's going to be too much. And you can make half of a recipe. Then you are going to get one can of chicken, cream of chicken soup, two cups of, don't you love these top covers? They keep my food clean. Sour cream. Two cups of grated cheese, and I recommend a extra sharp cheese. Put them in a big bowl like this, and you get one of your children, and you show them how to work in the kitchen. You put an apron on them, and this just keeps going and going. Oh, I forgot. This is my Amish uh, pure grade butter. We're going to mix butter in this emulsion. Then you're going to get a big pan. Oh no, not you. You have learned how to make this easier. There are three options here. Have you ever used one of these silicone trays? You can go that size. You can go this size. And I think it's a lot of fun to put in the parchment paper. You can push it down. And then the third option is for little children, when you're trying to teach them that other things are good, you can make them in a very small container here. After you mix them all together, you put them in the container of your choice. And this is a fun part. You call the kids back in. You get, depending on what size you're using, a little bowl of cornflakes. And then to give it flavor from the top down, I invented using sour cream, herb, and onion chips, and regular classic chips, maybe even more. You put it in a Ziploc bag, and you ask your child that's available to help you to stamp on them. So you have small little pieces of goodness on the top of your easy, cheesy, downright, not sleazy. It is delicious and you'll be famous forever and you won't have to take home anything. Call me in the morning if you have a problem. This is Mary, Allie's favorite sister. See you next time. Allie, come here. Oh, what can I do for you? 
you. It's what I can do for <gasps> you. Dinner's ready? It's ready. Oh, boy. And this is my easy, cheesy hash brown. Sleazy. Sleazy. <laughs> okay. Um, better not say that word. Here you go. I need your feedback. Tell me just how delightful it is. Ooh. And tell your senses to eat the sour cream mm. urban mm. onion and cornflake topping. That is so good. It is mm. good. And you can put it in the freezer. You can start like we talked about and use these smaller containers. You will be addicted. And I won't tell you how much butter is in here. Oh, the more butter, the better. That's what I thought. Thanks for joining me today on Gigi's Kitchen. Remember, go practice your baking and clean up your messes. We'll be back. <gasps> what? <laughs> you gotta keep that. <laughs>